a couple days ago, I just, in the Chinese system, turned 75. The American system, I turned 74 plus. And uh, I haven't been to a doctor with me being sick in 68 years. I've never been on a prescription medication. And I've been taking the 90 essential nutrients twice a day. You're 75. Yes, ma'am. Wow. Your skin is very yeah. supple. Well, I wasn't going to say anything. But. <laughs> well, nobody's going to steal an airplane with me on it. Okay, I'll tell you, I can still whoop up on them. And uh, that's because I do take the 90 essential nutrients twice a day, faithfully. Obsessively is probably a better word. <laughs> I have four children. I have uh, eight grandchildren, four great-grandchildren. And they've never been sick because they've been taking the 90 essential nutrients before they were conceived. All the pregnancies are developed in from the moment they're born. And uh, we, can, we can make America a birth defect-free country. Mm. We can make uh, America a diabetes-free country. We can make America a, a uh, heart disease-free country. We can make America an Alzheimer's disease-free country. We can make a, America a macular degeneration, blindness disease-free country in months by taking the 90 essential nutrients to give your genes the, the cofactors they need to give you the maximum benefits for health and longevity. Right. Without that, it's kind of hitting this. And so the whole system is all messed up. And so the only way to override that system is to supplement with the 90 essential nutrients, 16 minerals, 16 vitamins, 12 essential amino acids, 3 essential fatty acids, and then you're guaranteed you're going to get everything you need to have perfect babies. We will not have another birth defect if everybody took the 90 essential nutrients before they conceived a child. Right. Every birth defect you can name and 10 times that many you can't, Leanne, are all caused by nutritional deficiency in the embryos. There's not a single disease uh, that a baby's born with is caused by genetics. It's all nutritional deficiencies of the embryo.